Hey, what's up, everyone? James from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining me. And Father's Day is just a week away from now. And if you're anything like me, you postpone these kind of things. You forget about these kind of things until it's last minute and you are panicking. So every every year we like to make about seven or eight gift ideas for that outdoorsman dad in your life. Whether that's actually your father, it could be your brother, your son, your husband, a buddy. It could be yourself. You could be that outdoorsman dad and your kids may not have an idea what to get you. Feel free to send them a link to this video. We also have done this several times in the past couple years as well, like I mentioned. So I'll have the playlist for Father's Day gift ideas up here if you're looking for more gear, more, once again, more suggestions. Now, uh, for the most part this year, I'm going to try to stick to budget-friendly items, guys, because... You know, we're all feeling the pinch with the inflation, the gas prices. You know, I know that money's a little tighter this year than normally. So once again, I'm, I'm going to have eight gift ideas. For the most part, we're going to try to stick to about $40 or less. And then, you know, we'll we'll go some a little higher for those who are looking for that. Uh, but with that being said, thank you so much for joining me. Let's get started. Okay, so let us begin with item number one. Now, majority of these gift ideas we already have a full review on them from months past or maybe years past these are items that we personally really use and test so this is the reiki multifunction knife as you can tell as you, by the name implications this is something like a swiss army style type blade just a little bit snazzier a little bit more modernized modernized steel modernized little handles i like the little grippy wafer looking texture right there there's a pocket clip, glass breaker. Now, in the review, and I'll have the re review up above, we review two of these, and they're nearly identical. This one right here is the Reiki L31-B. Now, this one, sadly, it appears to be discontinued. I don't know what's going on with it, but it has not been available online for months. So, once again, I don't know what's going on. But... The one that is available is Cuervo's, which is the L31-B. And like I said, I mean, it is damn nearly identical as this one, just with a few different types of tools. And sadly, Cuervo's not here, so I can't show his in person. Um, but once again, I have the video review if you want to check that out. That's the one I'm suggesting, the L31. Now, the difference is this one has a saw where the L31 has a really robust pair of scissors, and I really like that. It also has an additional tool down here of a very aggressive awl. And so when we got both of these multi-tools, it made sense for Cuervo to take that one because he works with leather. He makes leather trinkets, leather, you know, that kind of stuff, leather sheaths. So the scissors and the awl just made sense for him. But once again, other than that, everything's nearly identical. Same exact type of knife, the same size, flat, flat grind blade with 12c27 steel which is a stainless like the mora constable and all the the stainless type blades that mora uses i'm a big fan of that steel very corrosion resistant very easy to sharpen bottle opener flathead screwdriver they call this a seat belt cutter but I've been honestly been using it to cut all kinds of things. Plastic packaging, cardboard, uh, zip ties, all kinds of stuff like that. There's a, an optional little lanyard hole there if you'd like. I don't particularly use it, but I know some people do. Oh, and check out these really awesome tweezers very robust pair of tweezers i mean these put swiss army knife tweezers to shame and if you're outdoors you're, you're bound sooner or later to be pricked by some kind of you know some stinger stinging bugs ticks uh or if you're out here where i live and all these other types of plants that are just they just want to sting you they're out to stab you so this is worth its weight in gold right here and really really like them and once again little things like uh, a glass breaker as well so a great tool for you know everyday carry whether you're going out on a hike a fishing trip anything like that just doing chores around the yard around the property i definitely suggest this one the reiki once again this one's the l32 but i'm suggesting the l31 really like those scissors really kind of jealous that corvo got that one um but yeah really cool stuff uh and it's you know it's relatively budget friendly it's about it runs you about 40 bucks give or take so gift idea number one is the Reiki L31 multifunction knife. Now, 
there may be one issue that you may not like or you know that father that you're shopping for may not like i don't know but uh these are made in china okay so in case that's not your thing let's move on to item number two okay so moving on to item number two which is another multi-tool this is the leatherman squirt ps4 so i've had this one for a few years now it is very tiny very small once again there's going to be some folks that you know they don't support chinese made products anything like that like the, the reiki personally i don't mind as long as the you know as long as the item is you know trustworthy and good quality personally i don't care but some people may mind, your dad may mind, or that dad that you're shopping for. So this, for the same price, about 40 bucks, you're getting you know, an American-made multi-tool. Now, you know, keep in mind that this is a much smaller item. Compare these, the difference between these two. This is something more like of a keychain carry type of thing, but this one offers some pliers so if the person you're shopping for is uses pliers more than you know they need a, a knife then this is going to be a better choice for them now really like these little pliers i'm trying to get this thing to focus really cool little pliers of course there's little wire cutters right there and uh man this thing is so small it's having the camera's having trouble focusing but now this one does still have a little blade but keep in mind i mean this is like an inch big at that so it's going to do little jobs you know cut cordage or something like that uh maybe open a box it's not going to be of course gutting fish or anything i mean you can do it it's just it's not as conducive as something like this for say you know wilderness stuff uh, camp cooking and all that okay but in a pinch this is you know you know a backup bladed tool and then we do have a file right here little small screwdriver bottle opener with the larger flathead screwdriver and this one does have a cool pair of scissors so once again it's small okay it's a small multi-tool so you're gonna give up you know a uh, strength robustness i mean these will do in a pinch if you gotta cut you know cut paper once again cut little maybe like a, some bank line uh fishing line something like that it's gonna do just fine and yeah it sells for about the same about 40 bucks and you know it's just a very small compact multi-tool with just the basics and i think this can do that this can be really great for someone to carry on their either their keychain or something like their haversack or their their edc kit their pouch so gift idea number three to no one's surprise is going to be the mora cons bowl i mean it's almost parody at this point just how much how often i suggest this knife i mean it's in my christmas gift ideas and all kinds of stuff like that i mean it's once again, it's almost parody, you know, just how I never shut up about this thing. But I mean, I've used this for hundreds of adventures. I'll have the link up here for our video called the top five reasons why the Mora Consbol is the top budget, the best budget blade for the money. And I stand behind that 200% to this day. So this blade runs you about $40. That is really cheap for what you're getting. I mean, this thing is just super comfortable rubber handles with plastic inserts and i really like the little diamond texturing right there i like the colors by the way too i'm a very you know a uh, plain jane earth tones kind of color guy so i like this check out the blade now the blade is uh, stainless it's 12c27 just like the reiki is this was was the blade that introduced me to stainless steel knives because i started as a carbon steel guy and i really quickly started gravitating towards stainless to this day that i made that jump and i never looked back now you can see that there is a change in the grind. It's a multi-grind. So it starts off Scandi. So it's going to be great for whittling, wood carving, you know, carving notches to make a primitive trap. Or if you're carving a, a spatula, something like that. And then it quickly tapers off to this flat. And that flat's going to be great for cooking. Whether you're, you know, chopping veggies, chopping, you know, uh, cutting up meat or you're gutting fish you know, gutting a deer, something like that. It's going to work great. It just best of both worlds. I mean, that's what inspired me when I designed my own knife. This blade, I took a lot of inspiration from this blade whenever I designed my own knife. Let me bring up the snake eater. And as you can tell, it also has a multi-grind. And I owe it to this one. 90 degree spine for scraping ferro rods, for scraping, uh, you know, thorns off of, of a cactus scraping scales off a trout i mean it is so lightweight i think this thing is damn near perfection for 40 bucks this thing is great for backpacking uh 
anything going light because it's such a light blade but at the same time with the rubber and the stainless steel this thing is going to be just at home in a fishing trip definitely really love this stuff i have had a thousand adventures with it and i really love it i even love the sheath as simplistic as, as it is it's just nice and simple incredible retention to this day and i've had this thing for like five years almost at this point really love it so once again 40 bucks for a really cheap fixed blade that's just going to handle everything it's going to run circles around bigger bulkier beefier type of blades cannot recommend this enough okay and gift idea number four is going to be this work sharp pocket sharpener now this is pretty new for me okay you haven't really seen this in any videos before i barely got this about two weeks ago and i'm very impressed with it i was so impressed with it that i put it on i'm putting it on this list even though once again i only have two weeks of experience with it where normally other things i have excited you know years of experience with but um as you saw in the first three choices, we love our blades here. I'm sure if you're watching this, you're a knife lover as well. And you got to keep those blades honed up. You got to keep them in good shape, especially if you're out, say, camping for an extended period of time, a hunting trip, something like that. So I mainly use this, the ceramic rod, just to hone up my blade. So after I use my knife for, you know, chopping some veggies or whatever in the kitchen, uh, I like to just tighten it up. And uh, you could see these little guides. And apologies if this is a little awkward because I'm trying to, like, look through the tripod through the camera while i'm doing this but uh there's a little guide and on this side as well very simple very easy to use and it tightens your blade right up now the other side is this diamond stone now this one is far more aggressive okay so this one i don't normally use because i always keep my knives razor sharp this is if your knife is really dull or say i had dropped say i'm out here and i dropped this knife on those rocks it could do some chipping some some dinging some nicks something like that this is where you what you use to kind of bring that back to normal and then tighten it up with this but look how thin this thing is this just goes in a pocket on your haversack and it's very lightweight this thing cost me probably like 20 bucks at cabela's so once again for for what you're getting really thin lightweight but you always have a way to either keep your knives honed or you know you, you went through you know your knife got a little ding when you're out camping you don't want to wait to fix it till you get home so this is going to be doing that job once again 20 bucks great stuff Gift idea number five is going to be the Exotac Fire Sleeve. Now this item is so simple yet so genius. So I got this about three, four years ago and I have you know, it has not left my side since. I carry this every day. Check out my EDC updates for the last couple of years. It's always in my haversack. It's probably my favorite item from Exotac. Now this thing runs you about 20 bucks. I've even seen it like in Cabela's and stuff. So you don't necessarily have to order it online. And um, what it does is it's basically like a protective jacket for your big lighter so big lighters can be found anywhere any gas station right for about two bucks but um you know a lighter is just the most easiest to use way of ignition right so it doesn't matter whether you're out camping backpacking on a hunting trip anything like that fire is important if you're going to be outdoors especially you know with you know inclement weather during you know snowstorms and rain and stuff like that this protects you protects your lighter one thing it protects it from water so if you were to drop this in a stream in a lake you know while you're fishing or something like that or you left it out while you're camping and you, you know it rained overnight this thing as long as it's closed this thing is still going to be working in the morning it's also buoyant so this thing's going to be floating to the top if you drop this in water it's just going to float like that so it's not gonna you know you're not gonna lose your lighter and once again you pull it out it's still working just fine i mean i love the simplicity of that plus the orange of course is going to add with visibility and i mean like i said it's just such a simple concept yet just so genius it adds so much mileage to your big lighters it, it's ridiculous but yeah really like it i always carry this everywhere i go so keep in mind that Exotac is a small American business, okay? So you are supporting American business when buying an Exotac product such as this one. And like I said, this thing runs you about 20 bucks. So you're not paying a lot, you know, to help support small business. And it is honestly just a really great item. I've been using this for years. And to this day, I, I do not see this thing leaving my side anytime soon.
And gift idea number six is going to be the recently reviewed Through Night Archer Mini Flashlight. This thing is budget friendly. It runs you about 27 bucks and very simplistic light, very lightweight. So as you can tell, there's a pocket clip. You could just clip it to the side of your jeans. Uh, you can even clip it up here on the bill of your hat as well if you needed to use your hands, say change a tire, work on your vehicle, your fishing, something like that. And very simplistic. Not only is it budget friendly, it's also lightweight and it also just very simplistic in terms of function. Uh, as I've mentioned many times in previous flashlight reviews, I don't like when a flashlight is too overly complicated and it has eight different modes and this and that. This one is simple. Now granted it's daytime so it's not gonna, you know, really shine. Uh, but low, double click for high, triple click for strobe, and that's it. Three simple modes, budget friendly, lightweight, it is USB-C rechargeable, so you don't got to worry about buying batteries. Just connect it right there. There's a little light indicator, a battery power indicator right there so it'll tell you how charged it is so yeah just not having to buy batteries in the long run it pays for itself you're you know making less waste for the planet and a really nice little light so 27 bucks for a great little light the through night archer mini and like i said we do have a review so the link is up for that is up above all right, so gift idea number seven is going to be this through night self rescue light it is a goofy name it is a uh, it's a mixed bag. I did review this a few months ago. I want to say last year. I'll have the link up above and I was very critical of it. But let's be fair. I've been using it very often ever since I got it. So that's got to be worth something. Now, as soon as Through Night makes a version two that is superior to this one, I'll gladly jump ship. But for now, this one is a really, I got to admit, it really is a cool and very innovative item. So what this is, is mainly a lantern. So you put this, set this up in your tent, in your hammock, in a ridge line, something like that. And, um, you know, it's going to provide illumination. So there's four modes. There's low, hold it down, medium, hold it down, high, double click, and you have SOS mode. So once again, just for camping, backpacking, hiking, that's going to be useful, but it also doubles as a battery bank. So remove these things and this is going to be able to charge your electronics such as your uh, your lanterns, your cell phone, something like that. I really like that. I, I like that versatility. There's even a button right here to check for its battery level. So I'm trying to click this, hold it for three seconds. There you go. And we're still up to 75%. So we still have plenty of juice to use. So once again, it's a battery bank. And it's also, it also doubles as a lantern with a magnetic base as well. So once again, you have this hanging on your tent, but you need to go use it somewhere. You could go ahead and take it. Boom. So once again, like I said, just very innovative. Now, the reason why I don't think this is perfect and it just really greatly bugs me is the button. It's so simple to click and it turns on right away. It's happened to me several times where I have this in my haversack and I drop it and the, you know, the, the impact upon falling, it's going to bump against something and turn on. And so when you need it, you know, a couple hours later, a couple days later, it's out of juice. So I don't like that. So let me just show you. Okay. Now, because, <laughs> because I'm trying to demonstrate it, I ain't doing it, but a lot of times just a quick little easy click turns it on. And that's what I hate. I wish the button was stronger or maybe the button was underneath and then you can turn it on and then close it something like that but overall like i said it's not perfect but for 30 bucks you're getting a lantern and something that doubles as a power bank i think that's really awesome and final gift idea number eight is gonna have to be my tough possum gear shackleton satchel I love this thing. I got this thing back in November and it has not left my side since. I mean, this is a great haversack for that outdoorsman dad that goes on hikes, goes on fishing trips, you know, anything like that. A couple of overnighters. I mean, this thing is super awesome. So first things first, Tough Possum Gear is an American company. And second thing, this is not cheap, guys. This will run you about 150 bucks. So this is the only item that's not within budget-friendly uh, budget-friendly range. However, I definitely got to say that I 
highly suggest it. I don't see a lot of coverage on this bag generally on YouTube. So I am trying to get more people's eyes, eyeballs on this thing. So it has this really cool Cobra buckle. So you can get your stuff in there. Now I'm not going to open it because I'm like struggling here with the tripod. I do have a full review on this up above. So you can check that out. Really great side pockets. So you can add whatever you want. I have my Baco Laplander saw on this side. I have a through night flashlight over here and really good stuff. Really tough, water resistant, uh, resistant against the elements. Cordura nylon, 1500D Cordura. There's padding back here. And uh, once again, check out that review so you can see all the pockets and stuff inside because I'm, I'm having a hard time right now with the with the tripod and lighting. I mean, I use this thing every single day. And like I said, I stand behind my suggestions because I generally use them. So yeah, you've seen all these stuff, all these things basically in past videos, past camping trips and adventures and all that stuff. And gotta say, this thing is amazing. American made, once again, if you're trying to support American business, I mean, doesn't get much better than this. Okay, folks, so that is about it for me. Those are my eight gift ideas for Father's Day for 2022. Now, I try to keep these, for the most part, budget-friendly, about $50 or less, uh, with the exception of the last one, which was the Tough Possum Haversack, which is a little pricier in case that's what you're looking for. So, majority of those things, as I mentioned, already have a full in-depth Junkyard Fox review on them. So, if that's your thing, you know, go ahead and check out the reviews on them if you want to get a little bit more information on the item before pulling the trigger and buying it. Also, in case none of these items really hit the spot, you're still kind of iffy looking for more suggestions, keep in mind that we also have, uh, have a plan playlist at the end of this video that has other Father's Day gift ideas from years prior and I try not to repeat myself with the exception probably the cons bowl I try to change it up every year with new suggestions so there's definitely new ideas there so in case you want to purchase any of these items guys link is also down down below in the description box so you can purchase them off our Amazon store that costs you nothing extra but that throws a couple cents our way Big Daddy Jeff Bezos throws a couple cents this way so we can keep getting out here having adventures because you guys know how insane the gas prices are these days. And I got a V8 gas guzzler. So that, that support really goes a long way, guys. Thank you so much for using those links. And that's about it for me, folks. As always, thank you so much for all your views, comments, sub support, likes, critiques, everything, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. If you are a dad... What is it? What's an outdoor gear item that maybe I forgot about? And uh, write it down below so more people can get ideas. Let me know. And that's about it for me, folks. I'll see you guys next week with another video. Now go outside and get your boots dirty. <laughs>